I'm Molly. And I'm Allison, and we're nurses here at the UT Southwestern Department of Plastic Surgery. Today we're going to discuss the post-operative expansion process after you have your tissue expander placed. After you have your tissue expander placed, you will see Dr. Haddock at the three-week post-op mark in the office. At that appointment, we will discuss sizing and the ideal volume of your tissue expander. Dr. Haddock will set a goal based on your chest width and patient desires. We can also start the expansion process at this appointment if you feel you are ready. So typically these expansions are done about once a week here in our clinic and the number of expansion visits will depend kind of based on your goal and the original volume that Dr. Haddock fills in your expander in the OR. So the way this process works is we use this port finder to find the center of the tissue expander and then we mark the placement when it's in the middle of the expander. Then we take a chlorohexidine swab and we clean the area. Next, we take this needle and we gently insert it into the middle of the expander and then we will slowly inject. The expansion process itself is usually painless due to the lack of sensation you have after the mastectomy. As you can see, the tissue expander is not fully expanded. The amount of volume in your tissue expander varies depending on how much expansion Dr. Haddock can do intraoperatively. Towards the end of your expansion process, this tissue expander will be more full. Also, this will depend on your goal and desires. Some patients may be a little sore or tender that evening. If you are, it's nothing that over-the-counter NSAIDs or Tylenol cannot cover. After each expansion, we typically advise patients to go home and put on something form-fitting, look at yourself in the mirror, and kind of determine if you're at a size that you're comfortable with, because although Dr. Haddock has set a goal, we also want you to be comfortable in the size that you currently are. 